Hey, what's up everybody, it's Lucarn here, and today we have a very special guest. His name is Mopman579, or better known as The Electric Void. Hello, I'm here for some reason. He is here f to help me team build. I usually do this, but you know, I, I'm too lazy to record it, but now I'm just going to record it today. Alright, so this is going to be chill, probably a longer episode. If you don't want to watch it, that's fine. I wouldn't want to watch it either, but you know, I wouldn't watch anything on my own channel. So, tell us about yourself, Mop Man. I am a human. Just who kidding, nobody likes cares. Alright, oh, so. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Alright, so. That's a dislike. A dislike <laughs> video. Alright, um. I'm gonna turn you up a little bit more. Alright, so hopefully you guys can see. Ooh, something fell. Um. Alright, hopefully you guys can see and hear well. I don't know how this is gonna go. I have like a million things going on. Alright, cool. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So, uh, my man here is gonna help me team build, or he says he sucks at team building, but he, he's got the same record as me, and I, I know from experience he's a really good battler. Alright. And then I click here. Oh, what's this, Skype? Nobody cares about Skype. Alright. So, right now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and, oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna release this video right after the battle actually happens so um, my opponent does not get an advantage and completely counter team me which is gonna be the Carolina cast forms for this one if I'm correct yep. all right let's see yeah so it's, I have a spreadsheet opened in a different tab um, so it's the Carolina cast forms and I already went against them, and they completely annihilated me. I think it was a 4-0. Which isn't complete annihilation, but you know. Mm, Alright. So. First things first, let me get his team open. Mop Man. First, just as an introduction, I promise I won't cut you off this time. Tell me what you like about your team. About my team or your team? No, your team. Um, That'd be self-centered if I said my team. True. Um, so, first off, Reggie Steele. I don't know why he's not drafted all the time. 150 in both defenses. I mean, come on. Fair point, um, fair point. And then Slo Slowbro and... Um, oh, you have Slowbro Mega, too. Yeah. Slowbro and Manchow is a really good core. Um, like, it doesn't really... I haven't gotten it to work yet, but... I always draft mons I hardly ever use, so that I have fun while doing it. Such yeah. as, um, last season I ended 9-3 with Altaria as my mega, and I don't think I'd ever used it in a battle before, so... Hmm, true. Well, I mean, Altaria mega is, like, OP, I really wanted him, but Minic yeah, is still really good. Yeah, he's going to be my pick. <laughs> um, so, his mega is Bayonet. And for that, uh, I, I have a team that I made against him previously. Let me just... Uh, so we're going to start building soon? Uh, yeah. I'm just thinking... Getting his team. Alright, so I'm assuming that you have his team up because you're a professional team builder. Yep. Alright. So first, I think I should obviously not worry about the strengths, but... You know, worry about his weaknesses. I immediately see that Mega Manectric is going to be good. Yeah, you're going to want yeah. Mega Manectric with, um, of course, Volt Switch. Yeah. In and fact, then Ace, HP Ice, definitely. In fact, um, I did some calcs with another uh, Pocket Tuber. I just need to make sure this is the right one. Because I did some calcs with Tank. I'm sure you know him. He's another youngin from the team. But Wait, don't call me a youngin. I'm older than you. No, you're not. Oh yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah. Alright, he's another semi youngin like us. Alright. And um he did some calcs and figured out the best set for my Mega Man Air Truck. But you know I did the moves and stuff, he just figured out the speed and stuff. It was, it was really awesome of him. Um, I just gotta schedule. Here we go. 
Yeah, so that was week two. So this is the one. I just gotta copy you and paste you here. Paste. All right. So this is what I have. Um, we're, I'm just gonna bounce by suggestions, like I'm assuming you are too. Uh, so we got Thunderbolt overheat. Yeah, if you guys can't see it, I'll zoom up on it a little bit. Uh, overheat, hidden power ice, and volt switch. Um, yeah, that seems pretty good. Seems to counter seem pretty well. Yeah, the only reason why uh, HP ice over anything else is because he's got that glass core, and that's insanely scary. He's also got then, Latias, and that's about it. And then you want Overheat to take out Magneton. Yeah, Overheat's always a good coverage, and Magneton, as well as uh, Chestnut and Vivian, maybe. Vivian's not taking anything, though. Alright, and um, here's the thing that Tank did, which I thought was super, oh god. Oh my god. Alright, make you smaller. Shoo. He uh, made the speed um, actually not f maxed out. He uh, he did the calcs, and I've been doing it every battle since, and it's never worked out not in my favor. So, like, anti-favor. He made the speed um, 180 and 72 in HP because um, uh, I don't need full investment to outspeed everything on his team. Yeah, that makes sense. Make it now. All right, which is pretty smart. It's kind of dumb when you think about it that nobody like I haven't ever done this, but you know, like it's smart but like simple. All right. So, who do you think we should go as the second mod? Make sure. I'm um. Yes. Yes. So first off, Oops. um. He's going to throw EQ on a lot of Mons, so you want something that can kind of counter that. And um, a Mon that really, like, his entire team can't really get around except for things like Hitmonchan and Chestnut would be Ferrothorn. Yeah, I was thinking he's got a lot of physical threats. It's always a good idea to run Ferrothorn. Um, but just be careful of those fighting moves. Yeah, um... So, I think we should go into the sets later on, right now, uh, just to get down the pokes, or the mons, pokes sound stupid, but, so right now we have Mega Maniac Trike and Ferrothorn. Alright, and that is easily what I would have gone uh, with too. Um, so right now we have a switch in for pretty much all his physical mons instead of Darmanitaion. And Darmanitan um, will pretty much kamikaze if it um, yeah. takes out Ferrothorn, which Very is true. one of the things that really brings that Mon down for me. Yeah. But, you know, it's never a good idea to <laughs> uh, purposely kamikaze, unless it's like last ditch effort. In which case, yeah. it's good. Or unless it's like 2 HP. Death fodder. So, for a third Mon, I think. Uh, this is like what I do all the time. So, it's either going to be... Because I like to have, you know, the standard two, one special, one physical wall. So, yeah. Ferrothorn is 100% physical. Then you can add Tentacruel. Is that yeah. what you're thinking about? Tentacruel or Seismitoad. And right now I'm trying to decide which one. Cause... Well, first off, don't overthink things at all. Um, Just look at his team. Um... With things like, um, he's got Vavillion, um, he's got Chestnut, um, actually I'm not sure if Vavillion does get a, a grass move, but he's got things like Chestnut and stuff, um, and Latios that definitely can get grass moves, mm -hmm. um, which will completely destroy Seismitoad. So what I'm thinking is, put Tentacruel for now, and, um, Maybe use another mon as a secondary um, wall or wall, something. Like a bulky attacker. Yeah. Yeah, so 
that um that's 100% uh, after I looked at his team of course he's got a bunch of grass uh, users which is never a good idea to put in you know Seismitoad also Seismitoad doesn't really check anything except for Magneton and um I have a couple of months I can take uh, get rid of Ma Magneton one of them being a uh, mon I'm thinking about adding Dragonite exactly man I was exactly what I was, that's exactly cycle. what I was gonna say Dragonite because Dragon is always a good type to have on a team and it, it works as any type of attacker you want um, but I'm going to right now be careful um I'm telling I'm telling you that if he plays like he usually plays both Hitmonchan if you probably will bring both Hitmonchan and Latios both with a grass type move Hitmonchan gets a grass type move? I'm not grass I'm an ice oh okay um yeah um, so yeah, that's a given. He would run all the HPs in the world that are gonna be ice and probably ice punch on him on Chan. Yeah, and then ice beam on Latios. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, ice beam. Not you don't even need ice HP ice. So. Which um I know it doesn't get any like really good flying moves, but Dragonite can because it's not usually used as a flying type can be your cover to get rid of him on Chan. Hmm. True. But right now we're not really focusing on the sets. Just kind of getting this sol solid thing down. Solid thing. Oh my god. Um, getting the solid team down. I'm gonna quickly grab something to see if I can remember what I did to counter his team. Aha. Yes. Those also, uh, by the way, everyone, Mopman is the only person who effectively beat um, the Carolina cast forms which is a very impressive thing very um, clap okay for you. I as I find that you go ahead and talk about what you might want to really use as your next mon all right so my next mon so first off we're getting to the end of the team we have four mons so we got physical physical well semi-physical Special, physical again. So I think we should go with a special mon this time. And a good one that comes to mind is... Hmm. So you're trying to find something that will counter what? Um, that's a good question. So I'm gonna look in what kind of switchings do we have. So Latios, Oh, look at that, we don't have a switching for Latios. Um... Um, Tentacruel. Yeah, but... Uh, oh, yeah, it's a Psychic will completely time. murder it. Hmm. And for that reason, I might use Honchcrow. Because it does instantly KO Bisharp, Latios, Chestnut, uh, Darmanitan, if it somehow outspeeds, which it won't. Uh, Magnazone... Oh, ditto is annoying. Um, and if it does ditto into the Honchkrow, it does kill ditto. Kills okay. Vivian. Um, I'm telling, I'm telling you. Um, I was thinking this was it, but I want to make sure first. The th thing that really destroys this team is anybody with a choice item, especially Band or Specs. Mm -hmm. I had Specs Excelgor, and it ripped through this oh, team. Oh, Excelgor! Oh, I, I wanted that too. Dang. One, one forty-five speed and yeah. one hundred special attack. Nothing to, nothing um, to sneeze at. Another thing that really hurt him was um, coverage moves on my wall, which was Reggie Seal. Not sure if you can do something like that, but I just used things like um, Hammer Arm to get rid of Bisharp and things like that. Hmm. Yeah, Reggie Seal is a pain to get through. Um, so basically what you're saying is a choice and the because what I'm thinking main choice on my team is because um, what I'm thinking you might want to use you some people might put Evil light on him but you could try haunter haunter see I think I'm gonna check with my older team uh, because haunter or X cloud are your big options yeah. I was gonna say X-Blood, but see, I used Haunter, but the thing is, 
when you l look at his team, um, it does take out a lot of things, but Boom Burst does insane amounts too. Also, um, I used it for week one, which might might not have been the best idea, but <laughs> you know, um, it's its special attack is good, but it's not exact. Oh, never mind. Well, the thing is, Choice Specs Boom Burst will wreck anything. It's good on Swallow, which has base 50 Swallow. special attack. True. And, uh, Haunter, I feel like it's good, except, um, something, things that include killing it, 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 uh, it's, it gets completely annihilated by Bisharp. Um, yeah, so we definitely want, um, a cover for that, but... You don't actually have a fire type on your team, huh? Mm-mm. But I do have some fire coverage in, uh, well, obviously Plasma. Dragonite. Dragonite. You could also go Plasma. That's what I nicknamed him. Um, Honchro. Honchro um, does get it, but that's not the sad that I usually Another get. one is something you might want to stick on your team, which is Hitmonlee. Hitmonlee is... I love Hitmonlee. I used the last game. Um, I don't care what you say. I don't care that I lost. It murders it. It took out an Azelf. Resisted. At minus one attack. It is murderous. However, what it does also, it It also, you're really talking about you wanted a secondary special wall and like bulky one and he has base 110 special defense. Yeah, that's another thing. He, he can easily, um, weaker special attackers like a base you know like non setup Vivian he can wall Latios at minus one he can wall and um assuming you know he goes for Dracos it's always a good idea and things that I take out include uh Bisharp uh Porygon Magnezone anything weak to fighting so, yeah. So right now, the fourth Pokemon is probably going to be uh, Hitmonlee. Um, don't you mean the fifth? Oh yeah, fifth. Uh, yeah, I'm dumb. Uh, yeah, fifth. Yeah, looks like it, but then we definitely need a special attacker for your final one. Yeah. And I think uh, this team is already looking pretty fast. Not really, actually. Um, never mind. So, Hitmonlee in itself, I like to call it a non-choice attacker, but it, it, it might as well be choice, because the Unburdened Boost, obviously, is might as well be a choice scarf. It's better than a choice scarf. So... <laughs> Hello? Hello. Hi. Alright. So, yeah. And I think that for the sixth attacker, I, I like to um, see if I have a switch in for everything. So, Latios. Mm. Not that much, but worst comes to worst. Fair Thorn, Dragonite, and Hitmonlee. Can switch in, hopefully, live something. Unless, you know, Dragonite it gets caught by a Draco Meteor. Bisharp, Fair Thorn, easily. Can't touch it. Um. Darmanitan, Dra Dragonite actually walls it pretty well. Chestnut, uh, Ferrothorn, but you know, I can't really do much to it. Uh, Chestnut. Porygon Z. Again, it's something that it's a kill or be killed, but worst case scenario, I sack off Amon and uh, go into Hitmonlee, which completely annihilates it. Bayonet. Uh, Ferrothorn's a good switch in. Uh, that. I'm just gonna do the rest of my head. Expout is also a counter for Mega Bayonet. True, because of Scrappy. I'm gonna pull up a, a team builder real quick. Alright, so, you think. Because right now, I kinda. I think I'm gonna have to run a bulkier team because he's got a lot of power. 
that I'm kind of gonna just have to uh, keep in, you know? Yeah. So this so. is like your first draft of your team. My first draft. What? You're talking like... Like, like paper, writing a paper first draft? Or like, like drafting Pokemon first draft? As in, it's your, the first version of your team. Oh, yes. Yeah. It, it's kind of like that. Hopefully, you know, we can tweak it a little bit. Maybe cut them on or two. But for now, we can stick in x plot right? Yeah, I think we can for now. Yeah, for now. Of course, you know, if uh, there's any, like, noticeable differences. And at that, I think I'm going to end this part of the video. But just to make it, you know, not bore you out of my, your mind I'll just end this part of the video and you know we'll pick right up later um, so thank you all for watching and I will see you all later